in this video we'll be talking about unit circle try to understand with standard angles it is known that 180 degree is pi radian so then when you divide both sides by 2 you get pi by 2 is 90 degree then if you divide both sides by 3 we get pi by 3 which is 60 degree then this will give you 45 degree if you divide it by 6 then you get 30 degree so we'll be talking about 30 degree 45 60 and 90 so this angle here is 30 degree or we can say who says pi by 6 this one will be 45 degree and then in radian measure it will be pi by 4 the other one is whole angle here in the positive direction which is 60 degree and I call it pi by 3 and this angle here is 90 degree or you can say pi by 2 so this is degree measure and this is radian measure now we know that this one is 0 degree if you just start here or 0 radian but when I make a complete rotation and come here that will be 360 degree or 2 pi now we want to see what happens to this here and this here and this here so you can easily understand this angle is pi by 6 or 30 degree and then when I'm going from here all the way in this so then I have to say 180 degree plus another 30 degree so you can say you have 210 degree because 180 plus 30 so this whole angle from here to here or in radian measure we pi plus pi by 6 if you simplify that will be 7 pi by 6 same way you can see this one will be here radian measure pi plus pi by 4 this is 5 pi by 4 and then if you're talking about that one that one will be pi plus pi by 3 which is 4 pi by 3 so if you just construct like that then you see that the structure will look like this so this angle here is 30 degree then you have a 60 then you have 90 and then radian measures are like 30 is pi by 6 60 is pi by 3 or you can say 2 by, by 6 if you want to make a denominator like that pi by 2 then you have 2 pi by 3 5 pi by 6 and then you have just pi here 7 pi by 6 4 pi by 3 3 pi by 2 which is 270 degree then you have a 33 300 330 360 here as I said so we need to remember those angles you may forget about those things or this one or this one like those things just remember the important will be 2 pi by 3 pi by 2 pi by 3 so the most important is on this side here in the next section then we'll talk about reference angle and you will understand based on this reference angle you can plot all of this now we'll be talking about unit circle So we have seen some important angles like um, 0, then you have 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree and 90 degrees. Or in radian measure you can say this is 0 radian, pi by 6, pi by 4, pi by 3 and pi by 2 now we'll use another special trick just write here zero one two three four then divide each term by four it's just a small trick to remember standard values then you take the square root on each of the terms and then simplify this one gives me zero this one is one here this one gives me radical 2 over 2 this one gives me radical 3 over 2 and this one is 1 so what happens now these are all my sine values at 0 degree 30 degree 45 60 90 so these are all corresponding now if you're looking for cosine 
then you go from other direction write first one and then write radical 3 over 2 radical 2 over 2 1 half and 0 so I got sine and cosine these two values will construct uh, the values for sine and cosine on these angles will constitute the unit circle so we'll look at that in detail I want to remind you what is complementary angles what are the complementary angles so two angles x and y are called complementary if their sum is 90 degree or pi by 2 so then the relation between them is x equals 90 degree minus y or you can say y equals 90 degree minus x or you can say in radian measure pi by 2 minus y and y equals pi by 2 minus x so the, these are complementary angles and why i'm taking this one you can just observe one thing if my x is 30 then y will be 60 so they are complementary 30 60 are complementary so the measure for 30 degree for sine is same as cosine in here so then we can say cosine pi by 2 minus x is actually sine x and then sine pi by 2 minus x is cosine x so i'm taking one unit circle starting here is zero then you have 30 degree which is pi by 6 then 45 degree pi by 4 60 degree pi by 3 and pi by 2 is 90 degree then we'll construct other angles in here in here so from my previous table you have seen if i have a point like pt which is actually in cartesian coordinate xy and also can be written as cosine t sine t so if you go from the table you can easily see that pi by 6 which is 30 degree cosine is radical 3 over 2 and sine 30 is 1 half and now we know that pi by 6 which is 30 degree and pi by 3 which is 60 degree they are coterminal so then these values will switch so then you can just say it is 1 half comma radical 3 over 2 and then pi by 4 sine cosine value same and we know that one is radical 2 over 2 radical 2 over 2 so we have constructed our first portion and starting here you can say we have seen cosine 0 is 1 and sine 0 is 0 and you can understand which said that this is a unit circle so the area radius of this unit circle is 1 and this is your cosine value that's why 1 when you come here at pi by 2 cosine pi by 2 is 0 that's why it's 0 here and sine pi by 2 is 1 so this point is 0 comma 1 and you can see here that y coordinate is your sine t so this is 1 and x coordinate is 0 your x coordinate is cosine t and you know the cosine pi by 2 is 0 this value here has the same coordinate in here only difference is in this case your x is positive y is also positive when I'm coming in this direction my x is negative and y is positive so I have the same value here I just need to write 1 half radical 3 over 2 and then this value now just coming here and then you can see again your x coordinate is negative y coordinate is positive so this point will be same here with a negative sign in the first radical 2 over 2 radical 2 over 2 same way this one will come here so then what happens in this case in this case x coordinate negative so it's negative radical 3 over 2 1 half and that value here is on that one so it will switch also so x coordinate goes negative so then it will be negative 1 0 okay now we have to construct the lower portion let us look at this value here so this value I'm moving here so what happens when I move here 
my x is still fine y is negative so that value will just here 3 over 2 minus half now same way this one will come here at this point so that one I have x is still positive y negative so then I'm writing radical 2 over 2 minus radical 2 over 2 and this one is here so I just need to change sign on y I have 1 half minus radical 3 over 2 so we got fourth quadrant remaining is third quadrant so third quadrant you can just use those values you can see that this one is moving here so now x is negative and also y negative so then negative half it is there already this one is positive I need to pull this one as a negative here so I'm done for this one same way this one will go here so then you have negative radical 2 over 2 radical, radical 2 over 2 and this value here goes here which is negative radical 3 over 2 negative half and you have completed your unit circle now let us discuss about those values in detail so when I have this one first here which is 30 degree or pi by 6 so we have seen our construction in the table cosine value is radical 3 over 2 and sine value is 1 half at 30 degrees so sine 30 is 1 half cosine 6 30 I'm sorry sine 30 is 1 half here and cosine 30 is radical 3 over 2 or you can say sine pi by 6 is 1 half cosine pi by 6 is radical 3 over 2 and this value will just flip it in here because 30 degree and 60 degree are coterminal angles so they just flip it here and then cosine and sine at 45 degrees same so the radical 3 over radical 2 over 2 radical 2 over 2 and sine cosine values are same at 45 degree or pi by 4 that's why writing cosine radical 2 over 2 at pi by 4 and sine pi by 4 is also radical 2 over 2 now once we get these things in other section you will see we'll be talking about reference angle and with the help of reference angle we'll be able to find all of this so as I have mentioned this point will be same as here only thing is x is going in the negative direction so one half becomes negative half and y value stays as it is same way this one y x value changes negative and y value is same this one you can see here same only negative sign and then when you're moving this one down here so that one x is negative now y also will be negative you can see this value is same as this value both are negative same way this one moves here y also is a negative and that one goes here on the other hand if you are moving this so 30 degree which is same as if you go from this direction is 330 degree or 11 pi by 6 or if you go like this here which is negative pi by 6 they are producing your this value here y is negative so that's why this goes here with y value negative 